In software engineering, SOLID is an acronym for five design principles intended to make object-oriented design more understandable, flexible, and maintainable. The SOLID ideas are single responsibility, open close, least cough substitution, interface segregation, and dependency inversion. In this tutorial, I will introduce least cough substitution. Liskov substitution principle stated that object of a superclass should be replaceable with objects of its subclasses without breaking the application. In other words, what we want is to have the objects of our subclasses behaving the same way as the objects of our superclass. So here is a code example. We have a rectangle class and a square class that extends the rectangle class. This is because square is a subset of rectangle shape. We also have an area calculator class with a get total area function. This get total area accepts a list of rectangle class objects as the parameter and will calculate the total area for all objects in the list. So now let's create a rectangle object and a polymorphic square object. Here introduce the concept of polymorphism. If you're not familiar with this concept, you can check out to our object-oriented programming tutorial playlist. Coming back to Liskov principle, the code doesn't seem to have any issue until here. However, when we execute the get total area, we will encounter an issue. In the given code, the square class extends the rectangle class. However, the behavior of the square class violates the Liskov substitution principle because it overrides the getArea method in a way that is inconsistent with the behavior of the rectangle class. In the rectangle class, the getArea method calculates the area based on the width and height properties. However, in the square class, the get area method calculates the area based on the side length property, ignoring the inheritance from rectangle. This violates the Liskov substitution principle because the square class does not behave as a true substitute for the rectangle class. In order to adhere to Liskov principle, we should avoid overriding methods in a way that changes their behavior. So instead of extending rectangle class, we can create an abstract class called shape with the get area method and both rectangle and square classes extends to this abstract class and override the get area method from the abstract class. Now in the get total area function, we no longer needed to pass in a list of rectangle type. We should now pass in a list of shape type. With these changes, our code now adhere to Liskov substitution principle. These changes will make our code more understandable, flexible, and maintainable. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Here comes to the end of the tutorial. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.